This is a new Enzo tire and it has some pretty awesome features and it may be the only tire Prince William has ever changed himself in his life, but that's not what we are going to talk about today. This tire is really awesome. It was originally developed specifically for electric vehicles, is particularly energy efficient, improves range by 10% and on top of that, the tire is also said to significantly reduce tire particle pollution because every year vehicles worldwide release an incredible 6 million tons of tire particles. I had the opportunity to speak with the company's CEO in person and was able to clarify what makes these tires so different and why electric car tires in particular cause so much fine dust pollution. And with that, welcome to the German science guy. I'm Dr. Jakob Botton and in Germany we say Los geht's. Hey guys, sorry for the interruption, but I just learned that we are over 50,000 people now on the German science guy, which is incredible to me. I never believed that because when I started doing videos in English, I actually was pretty scared because of my English and so on. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for everybody who subscribed for every comment. You're so lovely in the comment, also giving me feedback. Thank you so much for it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe you want to do it because next goal is of course 100,000. But uh, yeah, this is, this is incredible to me. Thank you so much. The air is full of fine dust. These are tiny particles smaller than 10 micrometers and these particles penetrate deep into our respiratory tract and affect our health. And in fact, a large proportion of fine dust comes from tire abrasion. Tire pollution is a major air source of air pollution, major source of waste. We consume over 2 billion tires on this planet every year. According to estimates, vehicles here in Germany alone generate between 60,000 and 100,000 tons of tire abrasion every year. With a population of 80 million, that's about one kilogram per person per year. And there's no big difference worldwide. A London-based company has now developed a solution with its new tire that is also way more efficient. To understand what they are doing differently, we first need to take a look at what a car tire is made of. A car tire has several layers. On the outside is a tread made of rubber. It provides grip on the road. Underneath are layers such as steel cords, which provide stability. The carcass is the inner core of the tire and consists of textile fibers. It ensures that the air pressure remains constant. The sidewall also protects against damage and the bead ensures that the tire sits firmly on the rim. What is now wearing away and causing fine dust is the tread, so the top layer of the tire. Logically, abrasion occurs when the tire touches a road and forces are transmitted. However, it is not only rubber that wears away at the contact surface. It also mixes with dirt from the road surface such as leaves, soil, sand and water. As a result, the abrasion particles consist of many different substances. The amount of abrasion that occurs depends primarily on four things. Firstly, the tire properties such as size, tread depth, mileage and air pressure. Secondly, the road conditions such as whether it is wet or what the temperature is. The third factor is the topography, so the surface of the earth and the design of the road meaning gradients and curves. And fourthly, another crucial factor is the way the car is driven, so speed and acceleration. One important problem with tire abrasion is, nowadays tires also contain chemical additives such as antioxidants, zinc, lead, plasticizer and other agents. These make the tires more durable and give them properties. However, when the tire wears down, these additives also end up in the environment and that is a real problem. Of course, tire abrasion accumulates particularly along highways and is difficult to break down, but also around crossworks, for example, in big cities. The chemical 6PPD is particularly problematic. It's a chemical additive that is often used in tire compounds. It protects the tire from damage caused by ozone and other environmental influences. However, when the tire wears down, it releases 6PPD, which then reacts with ozone to form 6PPD quinone. And 6PPD quinone is significantly more toxic than its starting product. Wayne then causes a substance to enter the water cycle. Authorities now see a link between 6PPD quinone and fish death. At the same time, this is of course also relevant for our drinking water. This is because there are currently no legal drinking water limits for 6PPD quinone, at least in Europe, but maybe you should also check this for your country too and if you want to, share it in the comments. I would be really interested because, to be honest, I was really shocked when I learned about that. And then there's also another problem we have to talk about, microplastic. Researchers estimate that 28% of microplastic pollution in the ocean comes from tire abrasion. Okay, 
That was the problem, now let's move on to a possible solution, namely Enso tires. Enso means circle in Japanese, so it's a very fitting name for a tire company. The British startup from London has been around since 2016 and develops tires specifically for electric vehicles, and this has a reason. Electric vehicles are a bit special. Electric vehicles are heavy, they have high torque, and they tend to be driven in cities where most tire pollution is actually generated. Electric cars generate more tire wear than combustion engine vehicles. They accelerate faster, are heavier, and have more torque. This leads to 20% more wear. In addition, there is simply much less choice of tires for electric vehicles. By way of comparison, there are up to 30 different tire sizes available for a Mercedes E-Class. For a Tesla, there are only three. Enso has therefore developed special tires to address these issues. The goal is to reduce pollution and improve air quality. And they are finalists in the Earthshot Prize in the Clean Our Air category. That's where I got to know them and was able to ask the CEO some questions. The cool thing is that this isn't just theory, because Enso tires have actually been in use in London since 2023. There they were part of the Mayor's Innovation Challenge. In a year-long test, DPD and Royal Mail delivery vehicles were equipped with the tires. A London and taxi company has also recognized the potential and converted its electric taxis. And there's one big argument. Enso tires are more efficient and durable than conventional tires. At least that's a promise. The reason given for this is the materials used in the tires. Well, we're basically a material science company in the tire industry. So what we do is we use advanced polymers and fillers and special chemistry to basically create a more robust and energy efficient tire. And of course, I wanted to know what are these materials? But as you can imagine, the COO was very secretive about it. However, one year test in London has shown that Enso tires improve the energy efficiency and range of vehicles by up to 10%. For a taxi driver, for example, in London, currently driving on our tires, that means they make more money every day as they go to work. It varies quite a bit because People drive differently locations, different vehicles, but it, we've, we've shown that in some instances, the cost saving on the energy bill alone is enough to pay for the tires. This naturally saves a lot of money and therefore is interesting, not just for electric cars, but actually for all cars. And yes, there's another interesting part about it. In addition, these tires reduce particle emissions by up to 35%. This could make a huge difference, especially in large cities. In London, for example, there are 2.6 million vehicles. Together, they produce 9,000 tons of tire particles annually, 35% would be over 3,000 tons that can be saved. Enso also manages to optimize the tire in terms of the magic triangle. The magic triangle describes a compromise between wet grip, rolling resistance, and durability in tires. These interactions between wet grip, rolling resistance, and durability and environmental sustainability are actually quite complicated. But when you take them into account, you can optimize the composition of tires. That is why the tires have also been awarded in AA rating, which is the highest rating under the European Tire Labeling Regulation. Many other tires, on the other hand, are only rated C. In some situations, the new tires, therefore, are more efficient than conventional tires. However, the development of such tires also presents certain challenges, which we should take a look at in the big butt or the big hurdle. This is a part in every of my videos where we talk about the limitations and problems of a new technology. And of course, we are also doing this today. Before we get to that, please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any more videos. And we are already over 50,000 people, which is crazy to me. Thank you again for that. But maybe we can reach 100,000 people. That would be that would be incredible for me. So first of all, thank you for everybody who already subscribed. And if you want to subscribe, you really would yeah, support this channel. Okay, let's start with the challenges. Even if many car manufacturers would technically be able to produce better tires, they face a number of economic hurdles. The necessary materials are more expensive and the manufacturing process would have to be adapted. Many manufacturers shy away from these costs, especially when they have an existing business model. That's why many prefer to stick with the old ways. Overall, it must be said that the tire market offers few incentives to invest in more environmentally friendly options, which is named by a lack of need or to be more clear about it, there are not so many regulations, which is crazy. At the moment, you can buy almost any tire and make almost any tire and there's no limit how much it can pollute. And this is a critical thing that we need to also have a, a robust discussion about. Cheap imports of lower quality tires are also a problem. Currently, a large number of these come from China and it is hard to compete with them. 
In addition, the problem with 6PPD remains unresolved. Even Enzo Tires still uses this chemical. The company itself says that all tire manufacturers worldwide use 6PPD in their current production. But he also mentioned that there are technologies available to remove 6PPD. So during our research we asked again and the answer is that they are working on an alternative but cannot provide any more detailed information as this is still in the research phase and there is a confidentiality agreement with a research partner. So perhaps there will be progress in the future and of course I will inform you if there are news. So also another reason to subscribe because then you get the news. Overall, however, I have to say that I find this issue with the 6PPD very shocking, also because of the lack of limitations in our drinking water. Why is this not a bigger topic? But there's another big hurdle we have to talk about. It is about the startup's vision. Because like every startup, of course, they paint a very bright picture of their future. They want to build a CO2 neutral tire factory in the US and they want to do it for 466 million euros. According to their own statements, the factory will use 100% renewable energy and recyclable materials. In any case, the goal is to produce 5 million tires annually starting in 2027. According to the CEO, the US offers the ideal market for this with strong demand for electric vehicles and stricter regulations. But politics are changing rapidly today, so I'm not sure if they will stick to this plan. In the end, it remains to be seen to what extent this will actually be implemented. As I said, overall, there's a very big promise in that and especially when it comes to recycling promises, you really have to be careful and have a close look because there are a lot of false information around it. But overall, I still find it very exciting that the wheel or whether the tire is being reimagined and the 10% increase in range and the significantly lower tire wear are of course extremely interesting. But what do you think? And were you already aware that we have this problem with the lack of tires specifically designed for electric cars? I'm curious to hear what you have to say about it. And here is another video about a motor built in Germany which is said to be 20% more efficient. Please check out this video too. And I say Auf Wiedersehen, which means goodbye in German. You're Jacob. <laughs>